The classic symptoms of non-wetting soils can be seen across the Bajangara property of WA farmers Andrew and Gina Kenny. Soil acidity, poor water holding capacity and water repellents, all major limitations on crop productivity. To manage these issues, the Kennys are using a range of short-term mitigation and longer-term amelioration strategies, including claying, improved sowing systems and mouldboard ploughing. We've had to sort of develop a lot of systems to try and increase the germination rate to start with and then perhaps um, methods of um, retaining better water and nutrient holding capacity within our soils. In a project funded by the Grains Research and Development Corporation, an economic analysis of the strategies being used by the Kennys was recently carried out by the Department of Agriculture and Food WA. The analysis showed the Kennys' new seeding system and mouldboard ploughing strategies boosted whole farm profits by $131,000 in the first year alone. Two years ago we did a demo of this particular seeder, it's a paired row system, and we found a, a great increase in germination percentage with, with the seeding method, so uh, it gave us enough confidence to purchase one last year. We did a mouldboard trial four years ago with uh, great results, and last year we bought our own mouldboard plough. and. Um, just on the back of those results too. So it's an expensive process to get into but we're hoping the mouldboard amelioration will last for at least 10 years to justify it. costs about $150 a hectare to mouldboard our country so we're seeing good results from that as well. For an estimated cost of about $10 a hectare, the winged boot paired row seeding system outperformed their knife point seeder in crop establishment and soil moisture holding ability. Crop establishment was up to 50% higher on severely repellent deep sands and 36% better on sandy gravels. With the, with the improvement in germination rate we could see we were probably going to get a return on our investment fa fairly um, well immediately so we could justify the expensive purchase of a new machine and, and up to this date we're, we're happy we have done. We've seen some good results. With this particular system the, the non-wetting soil can flow around the tine but the, but the seed is planted in the edge of the furrows, so it can be out of that particular band of non-wetting. By comparison, Clay Incorporation was more effective, producing significant crop yield increases, but at a high cost. Claying is something we've used um, 15 years ago we started claying. Claying is great too, but it's very expensive. We're hoping the mole board will give us a length of um, amelioration that will um, solve the non-wetting for at least 10 years plus, and then it will be economical to um, uh, spend the $150 a hectare for mould boarding versus the $800 plus for claying. Mould board ploughing also provides spin-off benefits including a reduction in herbicide use and improved management of herbicide resistant ryegrass, but there are also risks. The mould board ploughing is one extreme event which we struggle in this country because we've got light sandy soils and mould boarding in the first year really leaves our country very prone to erosion so um, a lot of the benefits we may have achieved over no-till of the years can disappear in one, one wind event, but that's the risk we're prepared to take, is the improvement in yield we're hoping to get.